Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to discuss a scenario. Scenario is that you can connect to SQL Server using IP address, but you cannot resolve or you cannot connect to SQL Server using SQL Server instance name. What could be the issue? There could be a lot of issues. Uh, you may have to eliminate uh, issues one by one, but uh, there are uh, uh, three outstanding um, steps that I would take if I'm resolving that um, that that kind of issue so I have written down right here the first is I'm gonna go ahead and check the DNS if DNS is up and running because DNS is the one that uh, is going to resolve your host name uh, for SQL Server IP address that's uh, entry in DNS so if that's up and running no problem there second you should check that make sure that the SQL Server browser services are running on the on the machine where SQL Server is installed and the reason is that if SQL Server um, multiple instances are running or even one instance is running and you have a static port uh, for SQL Server which is not 1433 and your SQL Server browser is not running then it's not going to resolve your SQL Server instance name the third thing that you should check that after you make sure that uh, uh, above two points are uh, ver uh, uh, verified then the third point is that you want to make sure that the uh, firewall rules uh, with your network uh, is allowing the traffic using uh, SQL Server host name or host name of that machine where SQL Server is actually residing not just the IP because sometimes what happen is rule does involve just the IP address but not uh, but not the host name you want to make sure that a uh, firewall firewall rule is set to uh, let host name uh, pass through as well. So I'm sure that you will find a bottleneck uh, following these uh, three points and if not then you need to dig a little bit uh, deeper into uh, issue. I hope it helps.